Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the job site here. Today, I'm going to be showing you a really cool tip, but before we get into that, I just want to say a quick thanks to WD-40 Specialist Spray and Stay Gel Lubricant for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it and I'll put a link to them at the top of the description so you can go check them out and thank them for supporting this kind of content. So anyways, the tip I'm going to be showing you is how you can take a piece of solid stock like this. This is a one by eight piece of MDF and turn it into basically a panel layout without cutting it into multiple pieces. This will all make sense here in a minute. But this one by eight is truly seven and a quarter wide. It's a little too wide for what I need for my casing legs for this project. So I'm gonna rip it down on the table saw and then we're gonna be using the table saw right here for the majority of this project. Also using the jigsaw to clean up a little bit of our, or rather finish the cuts that the table saw can't make. So we'll get right into it. I need to set this saw to six and three quarters and then we'll rip this board down then we can get into the panel layout. So you can see right here, we've got a problem. Out here, our fence slides pretty freely right here, but it got a lot of grit and like stickiness right here. So you can see how thick it is and I'll just run it all along here. And that is good to go now. So I'll set this to six and three quarters. We'll do our initial rip. I'll lay the panels out and then you can see how easy this is. So each panel is 36 inches. So I should have 36 inches right here. Perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is take framing square and combination square and we'll take the uh, framing square first. In those lines that I just made, I'm just gonna go ahead and full send them all the way across. Like that, that. So now every mark that I made, I went ahead and squared it up so I've got a good visual on it. Now I'm going to take the combination square. I've got this set to an inch and a half reveal. And then I can just mark this with my pencil and using this ruler and the fence of this combination square as a guide to mark this. I'll do it from the other angle so you can see out of the sunlight. Now really, I only need to do this on one side because this is going to indicate how far away I need to set the fence from the blade when I drop this in for a plunge cut on the table saw. But I'm gonna go ahead and just mark the whole thing so you can see it. And that easily, just with those tools, we have our panel layout for this casing leg. The benefit of this is I don't have to join all these small pieces. I can cut it out of a piece of solid stock. Now when I cut this thing, these lines that I made with the framing square, right here, right here, right here, those are all my stopping point indications. So when I get to this line, I need to stop. When I get to this line, I need to stop, so on and so forth. And because I'm cutting it on a table saw with a plunge cut, there is gonna be a little bit of a climb cut. So if you're gonna try to do something like this, just make sure you have control of the piece. Not really a big deal with MDF. It's a very soft material. It's not like the blade is just gonna pull it out of my hands. But anytime I'm telling someone, hey, you're gonna do a climb cut, I always just like to throw out some safety pointers because the saw is kind of cutting in a way it's not supposed to, but it's a very common practice. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop this board onto the spinning blade, that's the plunge cut. And when I drop it onto the blade, I'm trying to get pretty close to this line right here where I need to stop, but not too close because I don't want to turn this board into a piece of scrap. You know, I don't want to waste this material. So I'll get, I'll back off it a little bit and then do that climb cut to get right to my line. But first we need to verify that the fence is set up perfectly. And if it's not, I'm going to just micro adjust it till I get there.
right, so you can see I cut right to that pencil line right there, and then I made it all the way over to this one, stopped right there, stopped right there, and same thing all the way down here. So it's a really precise method, and I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then I'll show you how with the jigsaw we can just cut this across. And then to finish the cut, all I'm going to do is take a jigsaw. You can see how nice and clean those lines are right there. I'm just going to take a jigsaw and then just connect those two lines, follow that pencil line, and I'll be good to go. And kind of work my way in there so I can get straight across with this and then just freehand cut that. I could take the framing square and use it as a guide, but it's, it's going to just be a nice freehand cut. It's not hard at all. So real important, whenever I get to this piece, the final cut, I gotta support it with my hand so it doesn't just fall out and pinch the blade. So I'm holding it with this hand as I finish the cut. So there we go, there's our panel layout out of a piece of solid stock. Super easy and just makes our life so much easier because we don't have to join all these small pieces. Now, when you're doing the table saw cuts to a pencil line, you're gonna have these relief cuts back here. They're not gonna matter at all because we're going to install this on the wall, then we're gonna put a piece of tempered hardboard in the field of the panel, and then we're gonna put a piece of trim there. So that will never be seen. And I think it's gonna look really nice, like a nice, powerful casing leg. But unfortunately, we got to get to work. That's all we got time for today. We got about 12 of these to do, and this is number one. So thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you learned something. These are just the small little tips and tricks that will help you on the job site just be more efficient. So I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.